Emperor's Cup Spring, Japan's greatest two milers to battle in historic Kyoto. Kyoto. Kendo Show. <laughs> G'day World Wide Web, Luda with the world's most best Tenno Show Spring Preview. For those unaware, the Tenno Show Spring is Japan's most important two mile race, a race our very own Maccabee Diva competed in and was served up a lesson in. Three Melbourne Cups, no Tenno Show Spring for you. Now, the race is held in the historic city of Kyoto, a city I've frequented on many occasions, but I must confess that I've never been there to see the Tenno Show Spring live in the flesh. Um, now, moving on to the major contenders in the Tenno Show Spring. Uh, but for now, it's Dureza, the four-year-old, who bolted in in the Japanese St. Ledger, who is favourite. He's been on the drift, though. Six-year-old T.O. Royal, who has recently won the most important lead-up race just last month in the He's the second favourite. Down the list, there's Tastiera, last year's Japan Derby winner, to be ridden by Joe Moreira. And the next three are all five-year-olds, unproven at Group 1 level to this point. On screen now, you can see all the contents of the preview, um, as well as getting a rundown of every single runner. You'll get to see which races were used by previous winners of the Tenno Show Spring. You'll also see a track layout, a weather forecast, and a concluding wrap of who I think will prevail. Here are some of the previous winners of the Tenno Show Spring with their respective lead up races. You can see that the Hanshin Daisho 10 dominates with place getters for six of the last eight years. Yosaka High, it's a 2000 meter race and it's over the last three years also that the Nikkei Show has emerged as an important lead-up race, providing winners and place-getters. Saliera, the five-year-old mare, is fourth favourite. A little surprising as she had one attempt at Group 1 level for a sixth in the Queen Elizabeth Cup for fillies and mares over 2,200 metres. Her best result to date would be her second in the Diamond Stakes behind T.O. Royal in February. As a three-year-old, Saliera had a second place finish at Group 2 level over 2,000 metres and last year in May she was third in the Group 2 2,500 metre Meguro Kinen. Based on her performance in the Diamond Stakes, a race over 3,400, we know she's not going to be in shock when she's asked to run two miles. And well, she finished less than a length from T.O. Royal, so she's got to be a hope. She did race close to the pace in the Diamond Stakes, and that hadn't been her usual pattern. Another thing to note is her final 600 of 33.9 indicates no, she's not a staying phenomenon as T.O. Royal ran a faster 600, but it's more an indicator of the lack of pace in the early stages of that race. Also, the Diamond Stakes is a handicap. T.O. Royal carried three kilograms more in that race. In the Tenno Show Spring, he carries two kilograms more. Hindu Times, a gelding, eight years old. His biggest win would have been the Group 3 Kokura Daisho 10 over 1,800 metres last year. He also ran a respectable fourth in the Group 2 Kyoto Daisho 10 in October last year. Both the races I've just spoke about were on yielding ground, and his most recent start was a 12th in the Group 2 Nikkei Shinshun High on firm ground. Bit of a difference there. Good luck. Plume Dior, this six-year-old was off the track for 11 months after her career best result, a second in the Group 2 Stayers Stakes in December of 2022. That's a race over 3,600 metres. In her return, she ran ninth in the Group 2 Copa Republica Argentina. Despite finishing ninth, she was only uh, about four lengths from the winner. Next start, she was favourite and finished sixth in an open handicap. She wasn't carrying any massive weight either, but on the bright side, she finished fourth in the, gro the Group 2 Hanshin Daisho 10. She'll probably finish in the first half of the field. 
Warp Speed, a five-year-old horse wearing those silks we saw title holder running around in. He's another horse that's only recently stepped up to black type racing. He's used the same two lead-up races as Teo Royal heading into the Tenno Show Spring. In those races, he was one and a quarter lengths third in the Stayers Cup over 3,600 metres, then five lengths second in the Hanshin Dai Show 10. We can easily be sceptical after he was five lengths away from Teo Royal in that last start, but the track wasn't the usual firm rating. It could be the surprise packet. He's pretty flexible in terms of race pattern too. Blow the horn. He's a five-year-old horse who will be stepping up to Group 1 level for the first time. He was third in his last start, the Group 2 Hanshin Daisho 10. I'm a bit concerned by that. Remembering the Hanshin Daisho 10 was rated as a good track rather than the usual firm rating given to Japanese tracks. Blow the Horn started favourite for the Hanshin Daisho 10 and he had one on tracks with the good rating and also heavy ratings. Briar. That looks to me as evidence that he's out of his grade in the Tenno Show Spring. He did win a Group 2 mile and a half race in January, but when he stepped up to 3,000 metres, he found it too hard. Deep Bond. He's a seven-year-old now. Three times runner-up in this race. Wow. But Deep Bond's lead-in form for this year's race doesn't match that of previous years. I underestimated him last year as he'd finished fifth in the two, in the 3,000 metre Hanshin Dai Show 10 prior to the Tenno Show Spring. And this time in 2024, he's finished seventh in that race. And in addition to that, he's run in the Arima Kinan in December, was the worst result in his three attempts at that race. Maybe a rough chance of a minor placing. Tastiera. Joe Marrera has been booked for the 2023 Japanese Derby winner. He's going to need to work some of his magic, though. Tastiera started favourite for the Group 1 Osaka High at his last start and faded in the straight for a five-length 11th place. On that day, he was ridden by the local jockey Matsuyama. In his previous three runs, he'd been ridden by foreign-born jockeys Damian Lane, Marrera himself, and Ryan Moore. If you're a Tastiera fan, you might be able to pin your hopes on the change of jockey making the difference. Keep in mind his last run of 2023 was the Arima Kinen. He did look unlucky in that. In the Japanese St. Ledger in October, he was second but well beaten by Dereza. I'll avoid him. Gold Princess, one of the few mares in the field. This is a remarkable step from the connections. In her career to date, the highest level she's competed at was listed. She came ninth in that race in April last year. What might have convinced connections was her last start win over 3,000 metres. She did win that pretty comfortably with a 1.5 length margin. It was on a soft track, mind you. She's four. Local jockey Matsuyama will be on board and I wish them the best. Silver Sonic, the eight-year-old horse, is a bit of a surprise inclusion. He finished third in last year's Tenno Show Spring, but was absent from the track until March this year. That's about 10 and a half months off the scene. He is well and truly proven at the distance, having won at Group 3 and Group 2 level over 3,000 metres and 3,600 metres. Perhaps he's most famous for his 2022 Tenno Show Spring efforts, though, when he ran the entire race riderless, running amongst the rest of the field, one off the fence for most of the trip, and crossing the line second. I doubt that he can win, but it's reasonable to believe that he'll improve off that most recent 11th in the Hanshin Daisho 10. I am spraying the ball. I am the man with John. I am the bat. Kyoto Racecourse is home to the Empress Cup Spring. The outer course has a circumference of 1,894 metres and the home stretch measures at 404 metres. Something to keep in mind is the steep incline the field will have to contend with along the back straight. The runners will be faced with that gradient as soon as they race out of the barriers before storming downhill between turns three and four into the home straight. Savona, a four-year-old horse who ran fifth in the Japanese St. Ledger last year. In that race, he finished five lengths from the winner and favourite for the Tenosho Spring, Dureza. 
Now, five lengths improvement over six months is very achievable for a young horse, whose results since then don't provide evidence of huge improvement though. He was second in the Group 2 2400 meter Nikkei Shinshun High in January, and look, he was a little obstructed at the turn into the straight. Based on that replay, he doesn't appear to be a horse with an outstanding turn of foot either. But maybe he'll be more suited by the two miles. I don't want to write him off either based on his most recent start, the Han Shin Dai Show 10, where he came sixth, as the track did look a bit rain affected. Matenro Leo, he's a five-year-old horse that's now taken multiple cracks at Group 1 and Group 2, with the best ever result being second in the 2023 Kyoto Kinen, a 2,000 meter race. That was leading into last year's Tenno Show Spring, where he finished fifth. In his most recent outings, he's been fourth and ninth at Group 2 level with no excuses, so it's hard to see him suddenly excelling in the Tenno Show Spring. Dureza, the favourite, a four-year-old who exploded onto the scene with a big win in the Japanese St. Ledger last year. A race that's proven throughout the years to be a strong indicator of success in the Tenno Show Spring six months later. In fact, last year we saw a template provided by Justin Palace, who was third in the Japanese St. Ledger and then raced against all-age opposition in the 2500 meter Arimakinen and in the Hanshin Daisho 10 before taking on the Tenno Show Spring. That's 5.5 kilometers of racing. The path Dureza is taking is very different. He wins the Japanese St. Ledger in October and came back to the track in March for a 2000 meter race, the Group 2 Kinko Show, and finished second. The Kinko Show is not famous for providing Tenno Show Spring winners. Punters that have made him favourite would be basing their bet on his comprehensive win in the St. Ledger. Scarface, an eight-year-old horse, he's had 33 starts and just five wins. Much of his career has been knocking around in Group 3 and listed races without great success. His last run was in an open handicap where he carried 57 kilograms home for a fourth place finish over 2,600 metres. That was the furthest he'd run. And so the two miles of the Tenno Show Spring will be another big step up in distance. Tay O'Royal, there's no doubting this fella's a contender. He won the key lead up race, the Han Chin Dai Show 10. He's won the Group 3 Diamond Stakes as well. It's a little bizarre, he's not a short price favourite. Well, I theorise that as he's never raced in any of the three-year-old Group 1 races, the Derby, Guineas or St. Ledger, he just doesn't have the following of the Japanese punters. A little more background on this guy, he came third in the 2022 Tenno Show Spring, and from there his form went off a cliff. He then had a break of 11 months from the track, and since his second start back, he's been racing to his full potential. Meisho Breguet, a five-year-old horse who had his first race at black type level when he competed in the Group 2 Hanshin Daisho 10 last month. And the problem with that is that the track was slightly rain affected. He was by no means shamed in that race, finishing midfield about seven lengths back. The positive thing is Meisho Breguet has only won four times and all of them wins were on firm ground, so maybe with that logic he could be closer than seven lengths on Sunday. Maybe. His jockey is Manabu Sakai, and Sakai was on him two starts back when he won over 3,000 metres in January. Chuck Nate, a six-year-old gelding who had his career biggest win in January and has been kept off the track since. Prior to his win in the Group 2 American Jockey Club Cup, he'd had 14 starts and 13 of them were in age-restricted or conditional races where the field consists of horses that have only won a certain number of races. Up to this point, Chuck Nate hasn't raced beyond 2,600 metres, so this event is a new level, not only in terms of the quality of his opposition, but also distance. Keep in mind his recent win was on a heavy track and also the Australian-based Rachel King was on board. This time she's not. And to be fair, she's better than the average Japanese jockey. Smart Phantom, he's a four-year-old horse. He had eight starts in his three-year-old season. He won just once. He had one race at black type level in the Group 2 Kobe Shinbun High last year. He finished sixth, about two and a half lengths from the winner. 
This year he's had two starts for two wins. Both races were conditional events for horses with two wins and horses with three wins respectively. They were over distances of 2600 and 2400 and both races were on tracks that weren't the usual firm rating. Not the worst. Happy. He's the token dirt horse that's been thrown into the field. He's had 14 starts for three wins and seven placings. He's had one race on the grass and he finished ninth. He'd never raced beyond 2,000 metres until his last start. Please don't waste your money. Looking at the weather, there appears very little chance of rain between now and race day. And Sunday, it's looking very warm with 0% chance of precipitation. A standard firm track coming up. Don't forget, you can just type into the search engine any of the important lead-up races on screen now and review for yourself who really has the strongest claims for victory. And please, by all means, if you already know the winner, tell us what you think in the comments section. Well, I'm finding this a very hard race to pick. You can find some flaws in both the favourite and the next pick, but third favourite Tastiera really was lousy at his last start when he was favourite and finished 11th. I suggest an exotic bet of a first four or trifecta with the top two, plus warp speed and the old stages Silver Sonic and Deep Bond. Hopefully one of Dureza or T.O. Royal fail to ensure a decent dividend for us. Or you could keep it simple by putting a big place bet on T.O. Royal. Check the odds, pick a winner. I'm 